welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. On tonight's episode of Fusion Fortnite, we're going to be looking at the um, Sketch Profile Loft feature within Fusion 360. Now to do this uh, feature today, we're going to be drawing a simple part and it's a downpipe of a guttering system where it goes from a rectangular section to a cylindrical section. All right, let's have a go at drawing this uh, downpipe today using Fusion 360 and some basic sketching principles and the loft command. What we need to do is create our sketch and we're gonna click this ground plane here. Remember to use our shortcut keys wherever possible. If you get confused and can't find them, you can always go back into the sketch drop down menu here. You can pick up your rectangles, your circles, etc. We're gonna pick C for circle, so C key, snap it to the center and drag out. Uh, the diameter of this pipe will be 80, so 80, tab, enter. What we want to do is extrude that up now. So remember the shortcut key for extrude is E. Once again, if you forget your shortcut keys, go into the create menu and you'll find them here. Okay, extrude is E. So E for extrude, select that top profile and we're going to extrude up 40 millimeters. And we're going to tab, enter. What we're going to do now, we need to create an offset plane. So we're going to click on the Construct tab here and use Offset Plane. We click the top face and we're going to drag this plane up roughly about 15 millimetres. Tab Enter. Now select the plane and move your mouse off it. You'll see it change colour from being a pale orange colour. Once we click it, we'll go to a blue colour. That means we've selected that plane to accept a sketch. Shortcut key R for rectangle, and let's just draw ourselves a two point rectangle and just draw it anywhere there. The rectangle is going to be 50 millimeters wide by 100 millimeters, uh, sorry, long. That's correct, 100 millimeters long. Okay, so tab again, so 50. I don't think my, I hit the zero back there before. Okay, here we go, tab enter. Now, what we want to do is put some dimensions. We can actually grab the corner of this rectangle and move it around but let's put it exactly where, where we need it today to do this drawing. So D for dimension. We're gonna click the center and click this outside and we should be able to type in our, our dimension there of 50, tab enter. Once again, D for dimension is the shortcut key. If you forget, come back to sketch tab and it's all the way down the bottom. And you can also, by using that little arrow, pin it up to the top. We're gonna click the center, click the bottom line and this is going to be five. Tab enter. Now that's pretty much set right. Uh, e for extrude, we're going to extrude this top profile now. Select the top profile and drag up. We want a height of 40 millimeters. Tab enter. Okay, here comes the fun part. Using our create tab, we're going to create a loft. So extrude, revolve, sweep, loft, this one here. In our loft, we're doing a profile here today. So we're clicking, going to be selecting in this top window here. I'm going to select this top profile. Now, by putting my mouse on the cube and holding down the right, uh, sorry, the left uh, mouse key, I can rotate that around my view to get to the bottom side of that rectangular base prism. I'm going to select the bottom face of that. And you now see in my loft tab, I'll have profile one and profile two come up. If I go back to the home view, you can see the loft has been created. We can click OK. And I reckon that's a pretty cool trick. And there's not really any other way you could draw this parametrically without that loft feature, because we're actually um, combining two solid prisms together, going from round to uh, a rectangular. All right, uh, we need to hollow this out now. So we're gonna use the shell command. So in modify, shell lives uh, coming down here, and here's shell here. There's no shortcut key for shell. Click the top face. And we're going to do it a, you can see here my faces or bodies to select. I'll, I'll deselect that just for the video. Click the top face, you can see it's selected. We want a one millimeter uh, thickness. We're going to click OK. Now currently you can see here, if I click my free orbit wheel, which is down the bottom here, free orbit, I can free orbit this around. Now you can see it's shelled all the way through, but it hasn't gone through to the bottom. Escape out of that. Go back to my home key. I'm going to actually manually now rotate that over. I'm going to select this circle on the bottom and press C. Okay, snapping my new circle because I want to draw a new circle. That's why I press the shortcut key of C. Snap to the center and drag out. Now my circle will snap 
to the inside. See, it's snapping there to 78 millimeters. If, you're, if yours won't do that, just feel free to type in 78, tab enter. Now, E for extrude, and you're gonna select that new profile that you've drawn, okay? And we wanna extrude this a negative direction of two millimeters and make sure it's cut and click OK. And there we have it. We're now all the way through and we've completed our um, downpipe adapter uh, using Fusion 360 and I'm pretty sure that it uh, represents this one here. Okay, let's put some color to this project. Let's make it look like the picture. So first things first, we should always save our model. Okay, click on the show data panel Make sure you're in your folder where you're saving them. I'll be saving mine in my Fusion 360 Fortnite video project. We're going to click Save, and we're going to call this one here Downpipe Loft. Okay, let's put some color to this project. Right click on the, at the very top here where you can see this model now. Uh, if I turn the light bulb off, the, lot, the model will disappear. Light bulb on, model reappears. Right click on the downpipe. We want to go to appearance, not physical material. And in our Fusion 360 library, we can pick up here. Uh, we're in plastics at the moment. I can close this here. So find the plastic folder, expand it. And any color you want to pick, I'm going to pick this plastic glossy white. Now you can see my mouse icon has changed to a hand because I want to grab it. Okay, click and hold, which is grabbing that drag it over, drop it onto your model. Okay, and we can decollapse that now. Click close, and now we have our plastic little downpipe all ready to go. So as you can see from that demonstration, the loft isn't a very hard feature to use. Let's take a look at something different now. Let's look at this elliptical shaped vase, or vase, however you want to pronounce it, uh, that I found on the internet. Let's have, a, let's have a crack at drawing that. Now to draw the vase today, we're going to be just freehanding this. We're not going to be worried too much about um, sketch dimensions, that sort of thing. Step one, select the sketch again. So create a sketch, ground plane, come up into the sketch drop down, and we want to pick an ellipse. There is no shortcut key for this. Click ellipse, click from the center, let go of the mouse key and just drag out. Terminate and then lift up. And this is how you create your elliptical shape by either dragging it out or in. And rough, we're just roughing this out. Stop sketch. Once again, we need to do it, put an offset plane, so construct offset plane. Click the top, uh, click the profile of that sketch, not the actual ring, click the inside part of it, and lift it up. And we're just freehanding this. Once again, select your new plane, it turns blue. Sketch drop down, ellipse. On here, and we're gonna stretch this one out a little bit further and push him out a little bit more as well, sticking on that um, Y axis line there. Stop sketch. Put it back into the home view. Again, another offset plane. Click that inside, remember, don't click the blue line, click the actual open section in here. Lift it up again. Select that, drop down ellipse. And here we go, we're gonna take it out here. It won't be as, it won't be as big. Uh, there and out to about there. Stop sketch. Okay, let's loft between those profiles now, okay? So create, loft. Let's select the um, bottom one. The next one, you can see the loft getting created now. Now, see it's only picked that corner, so we'll just have to pick the other four there. It's not a big deal. And click OK. Now we want to hollow out that, so once again, we're going to do a shell, so create modified is. Modify shell, click that top face, and we're going to give it about a two mil offset come back 1.5 maybe might look a bit better and enter okay so now we want to create th create this sort of uh, cut out in here like a piece has been bitten out of there this this will take two steps so what we can do is we need to have that we need to find that origin so we're going to click on the sketch and we're going to zoom in to grab that one there now you don't have to zoom in you can always turn off your body and pick it there like that okay but that's the plane I want and I'm gonna draw an ellipse up in here. Sketch ellipse. And just above, I'm gonna start from the center. I'm gonna come out to about here and drag in to give me that piece out of there. 
Okay, E for extrude, Let's put it back into the home view. We're gonna click our profile in here. Uh, we want to have a cut. We want to go symmetrical, and let's see. No, I haven't got that lower section. There we go, I've got it now. And cut through there. Now you can see it doesn't look that nice there, so we can come back in our sketch and edit that. And down from here, we can grab that point, and I can just drag him out a little bit more and stop sketch. And that looks a bit better. I've still got that little piece there, but we won't worry about that. Okay, let's put the jagged serrations on this. And we need to do that trick again. So I'm gonna turn off the body. I'm gonna click sketch, create a sketch, click that one, turn my body back on. And I'm just gonna roughly freehand this with alpha line, remember? And we're just gonna start off about here. Some little, like jagged little teeth. Just freehanding it, not a big deal. I'm not too worried about dimensions. Just as long as I sort of get that, that desired effect I'm after and stop sketch, E for extrusion, click that body, symmetrical, and we want uh, cut back into the home view and pull that through and okay. And, and uh, I'm kind of happy with that, even though I, you know, it's just freehanded. I haven't really worried about too much about uh, sketch dimensions and that sort of thing. Well, that completes uh, today's tutorial on the loft feature within, with inside Fusion 360. Um, trust you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, I really appreciate the likes, the shares, and the comments. Um, I'm only a small channel and I'm trying to make it grow. So thanks for sticking by me, guys, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video. All the best, and guess what? Happy Australia Day. Cheers.